I've made a five line pen and I'm using it to draw um, staff lines on on paper. Um, really easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so sometimes when I'm writing in a notebook I have ideas but I don't necessarily want to use a piece of manuscript paper so I can just be writing in my notebook, doing my thing, whatever, and write a quick staff thing. You kind of have to get used to it because you can draw better ones, but you have to get used to the angle and pressure. Um, I should say that I'm definitely not the first person to to do this. Um, in fact, there's a there's a whole historical thing going on too. Uh, you can there are other YouTube tutorials. Um, I got the idea because I saw a product online called the the, um, the Nolagraph, which is a consumer basically version of this um, that's manufactured. And I figured, oh, I could do that like for super cheap. So, um, so I bought um, five of these ink, these pen refills. Uh, this is the Uni Style Fit um, Sino or Signo 0.38 millimeter tip. Uh, it's a gel uh, refill. And um, I wanted, uh, I picked this one because it had the, a very narrow uh, chamber, ink chamber. And I didn't want lines that were super wide because then it's like, you know, it gets kind of ridiculous and it's kind of like playing with like Duplo Legos and I hate that and it makes everything inaccurate. I tend to prefer um, these more narrow ones. Um, and I like working on large uh, format manuscript paper like this, which is uh, 11 and a half by 14, but um, one of the things I run into, uh, for one, is is just the cost. Uh, it's expensive, and I kind of don't use it a lot because I feel like it's precious and that value thing is stupid. So, um, And also, 10 staves, you know, uh, that's a limitation. What if I'm doing, you know, uh, four-part writing and want to do three um, systems, you know, I run out. Um, also, you have no options of the spacing of everything or the length of the staff. So um, I've been messing around already over here. Um, just kind of, you can kind of just do whatever you want, really. Just, just design it exactly how you want. Um, also, if you're into 20th century music, a lot of the scores are very uh, unconventional, sort of bizarre, uh, sporadic, and spaced out. And I think that's kind of cool. So you can you can do that with this hand design it because you're not going to find something so customized available to buy. So um, pretty easy the construction. Uh, you took the five refills, and this is just uh, the side of an enclosure of a of a external hard drive. A you know two uh, two point five inch drive um, is long and wide enough. So line them up. Made sure that they were you know as lined up as as I could make them. Taped it down, maybe I'll glue it later, maybe I'll put a little like, splint thing in here to, to, you know, to further line them up and keep them, keep them straight. And perhaps down the line, put them together to make a proper sort of pen style thing. Maybe fill that in there. But, um, but in the meanwhile, yeah. Um, but you know, this is one of those things where um, it's not even the, the Nolograph or the, the YouTubers before me. Um, it goes back to, you know, to like, you know, when people originally started engraving music. Uh, imagine a calligraphy pen, but with, um, with five points on it. And that's what they were using to, to make these manuscripts in the, you know, in the 17th and 18th century. And then, you know, they did that until proper printing came along. And then um, in the 20th century, I think... Um, Stravinsky had like a a wheeled version that he invented that you roll across the page, which is kind of cool. But I don't know where to find those. I didn't really look, and I don't care. And then um, you know, you probably also then moving on in time. You remember the chalkboard um, piece of wood with five wired things to hold chalk, and then you can go across the the board. And then I think more recently they had the dry erase version, which had you know five holes that would mount the the markers so that you could make 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 staffs on the on the board but um i found it to be pretty handy i don't think that i would necessarily recommend these particular refills again because of uh, how narrow the tip is it becomes more particular about the angling and um and the pressure 
but um, but it still writes a nice line, I guess. So um, so it'll do. Um, that's that.